name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This is the long-awaited Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios in Florida Hall. And I can't wait to go ahead and show you guys this. I can't believe I didn't film this until now because I went in June. So I am not big on a whole bunch of trinkets and, and things. I'm not big on souvenirs. I usually just get a shot glass and call it a day. However, there are shops after shops after shops after shops in Universal Studios. It's one thing that you definitely need to know is there are a lot of shops. And if you go into a lot of shops, eventually you will buy a lot of things. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you and then I'm going to show you the wand afterwards. So, I've got a few things here. Not a lot. This was really cool. This is gilly water and it's just the water and then you can buy a potion with it. So you've got this right here is an elixir of, of refreshment and this is the fire protection uh, potion number 208 and it all it has a liquid in it and you go ahead and you pour it into the water and they have all different kinds of flavors. So I just thought that that was a really cool kind of thing to go ahead and get and actually keep. The coolest thing is the Gringotts right here. I ended up going into Gringotts because I knew that you could go ahead and exchange your cash for Gringotts cash. And I love this. I'm a sucker for it. I was going to get the coin set, but the coin set was just too expensive for what it is. So, of course, I got $10 right here in Gringotts money. So I really, really love it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for things like that. And then if you guys know me at all, I mean even a little bit, I ended up getting some bookmarks. Now one of the houses is not here because they are actually in my books right now. So I've got the Gryffindor ones. These are magnetic and I love them. I love these. And this is Ravenclaw. And then you've got Slytherin. And then Hufflepuff is in two of my books. And then you have this Gryffindor bookmark, which is really cool. So in order to go ahead and keep your tickets and little cards and things like that, you got a little Wizarding World of Harry Potter uh, lanyard thing and of course I chose Gryffindor because I love Gryffindor I might be a Hufflepuff I might be a Ravenclaw depending on the time or the day that I go ahead and take the test but I love Gryffindor so I went ahead and got that and it even has the thing these suckers are $10.99 or $10.95 so yeah, it's a little pricey. And the piece de resistance is the Ollivander's wand. And they always go in small groups and there's always one person chosen and I was chosen. I was chosen for my wand and this is the wand that chose me and it was so cool to go through all the spells and have stuff happen. It was the coolest thing and it made the whole trip. Let me tell you. So this right here with tax is $53, which is a little pricey. A little pricey. But this right here is the interactive wand. And this is what it looks like. I wanted to go ahead and get other wands. Um, because I think I have everybody's wand. But, you know... $53 that's a lot so one is fine this is the interactive wand which is a lot of fun whenever you watch other people do it because there's always going to be a line for it so you kind of just watch other people do it and it's really really cool especially the kids and if there's kids in line you don't want to go ahead and take over the kids a kid's spot that's just how I am so it was really enjoyable to see the hokey little things that this wand does and there's a little lens at the top right there right at the tip and that's what 
makes things magical. It's sort of like a hard plastic and I don't recommend buying it before you get there. Definitely go, especially if you have kids or if you're in a wheelchair or something, you're most likely to be picked to go ahead and get your wand. And that's exciting and awesome. And I can't even I can't even put it into words how awesome it is. Now I do have a couple of tips and tricks for you if you are planning on visiting Universal Studios. I highly recommend going into the park early. Definitely get the early admittance because let me tell you, if you don't, there's the lines are going to be crazy. In the middle of June, the lines were about 45 minutes to an hour, and I would say probably about three or four o'clock. That's whenever it gets to be full. I mean, you could barely even move because there are so many people, at least in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter area. And that is whenever I recommend you go ahead, as soon as you get there in the morning, you ride the most popular rides. I highly recommend you go ahead and you ride the Gringotts one first. And then make sure that you have the park hopper and ride the Hogwarts Express because that's cool and I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it is really, really cool, I promise. Both there and back, you've gotta take it both ways. And so whenever you go ahead and you go to the other park, you ride the other Harry Potter ride. And that is pretty much what you could do. And then after that, do whatever you want because you just rode the most popular rides and you hardly had to wait at all. Uh, the other lines, they're not gonna be as long, but I'm telling you, these rides are an experience. You've got that, you've got Kong, you've got so many that are so cool. The uh, Men in Black one, the kids will absolutely love because you get to shoot aliens. The E.T. one I highly recommend because it's nostalgic. It's cool. It even smells old. And it's, I don't know, it takes you back to your childhood. And it was just so neat. I really, really enjoyed it. I don't want them to close it down. I really don't. I loved it. And, uh, yeah, they do have a couple of things, too, that are like the 4D kind of movies where they show a short cartoon and you get like water sprayed at you and the chairs move and things like that they do have some of those now as far as saving money you can bring your own drinks and your own food because let me tell you the hot dogs just as an example is eleven dollars and fifty cents I'd rather starve then have a hot dog for $11.50. Yeah, you end up getting, you know, a drink with it or whatever, but $11.50. So make sure you go ahead and just bring your own food and bring your own drinks. Now, whenever you go into the park, right before you get into the park, there is a really, 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 really amazing Mexican restaurant and it's called Antajitos. And the guy there name is Jean or Jean and his, you spell it J-E-A-N. Get him as a waiter. He is absolutely phenomenal and the food is absolutely phenomenal. It is just, it's, it's so, so good. And it's decently priced. Obviously, at the City Walk, you're going to go ahead and have things to be a little bit higher. They also have an IMAX theater. I don't recommend doing that because you're going to be so tired and so busy that you're just not going to make it. You're just not going to make it. But definitely go ahead and try that. And then they also have, what is that place called? It's like a cow sushi I don't remember what it I honestly don't remember what it was called but it's like a burger sushi type of place and it's really interesting and I like how they combine sushi and burgers into one so I definitely recommend that place but out of the two definitely go to the Mexican restaurant trust me on this you're gonna want to do it I will definitely be going back when they open up the other Harry Potter areas. They're opening up two areas, so I'm really excited about that. So maybe, I don't know, five years I'll go back. So I'm really, I'm really hoping that those are gonna be really good. 
even they even have Nocturne Alley, guys. It is a little bit dark. In fact, it's really dark. But it's so cool. It's the little details that matter. And the little details are just perfection. But don't think that it's like this huge place. Because it's really not. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is not big. But there is a lot in a small space. Butterbeer. Okay. The Butterbeer is $6.50 or $7.50. And I'll tell you, if you don't want to hear what it is, just stop the video right now. It's cream soda. That's all it is. It's cream soda and the froth at the top. There's like a little bit of a butterscotch flavor, but it's just cream soda. So really, don't waste your money on it. I mean, obviously you're going to go ahead and you're going to drink one, right? But just share if you're... If you are okay with sharing with other people, definitely just get one cup of butterbeer and then it won't be so bad. Also, um, do not get the butterbeer uh, fudge. The butterbeer fudge is just white chocolate, which is really kind of disappointing. But I highly recommend getting the chocolate frog. You've got to get the chocolate frog. It even has a card in it, but mine got destroyed on the way back but that's okay and if you have time I highly recommend going to Gatorland which is outside of the Universal Studios it's way outside look it up it is absolutely incredible you could feed the animals and they have little shows where you can go ahead and have a boa constrictor around you and I did that I paid them to go ahead and put a boa constrictor on me because I'm crazy like that and it was so so cool and you get to see alligators and crocodiles from really really be really really cute little baby ones well not really cute and really really big ones I mean huge ones so yeah you want definitely want to go ahead and check that out and obviously get the train ride because that's cool too because you get to see everything there's so much more there than just alligators and crocodiles and things and I have a whole bunch of pictures if you guys want me to go ahead and post them on Instagram I will they're just a lot um so yeah that's pretty much it now for sure that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe and I will see you guys later bye <laughs>